Good afternoon. Welcome to Hartman Business Machines YouTube channel. This video is going to be a brief description on how to um, add a scan to folder destination um, for potentially a new user or an existing user that needs a scan to folder um, destination application user, whatever you want to call it. So. This video is assuming a couple of things. That your network is tight and that there's no um, firewalls or network protocols that are limiting uh, network access to workstations. Um, it's also taking into account that you have already got a shared folder either on your laptop or workstation or server that you want to add this um, scan to destination onto. So you must have already set up a shared folder on your workstation or server um, and there mustn't be any settings or firewalls or security um, items in place that would be limiting um, the machine's access to its destination. So with that said, um, and also, this is adding the destination at the machine. There is the other option of adding it via the web image monitor. Um, but this one's going to be doing it from the machine. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to go into the user, uh, sorry, the address book management. Okay. And then what we want to do is program a new program because this user isn't on the machine yet. And so first and foremost, we're gonna put in their name. So for this example, it's just gonna be Troy. Okay. Now, next, what you wanna do is head over to the folder option. Okay. And here is where you can browse the network or change. Most of the time you have to have something in the path before you can browse the network. Otherwise, it's just gonna go out and it's not gonna know where it needs to go. So, we're gonna exit that. We're gonna go into change. And this now, if you're going to be searching or um, connecting this to a workstation, you need to know that computer name. If it's going to be the server, you need to know the server name. So in this instance or example, I'm going to enter in the path to my surface. Dun, dun. Nope, it doesn't need pro. So that's Troy Surface 4. That's uh, something that I use and I already have the um, shared scan folder set up. So, I've just pressed OK now. So I've given the machine <clears throat> somewhere to start. Okay, now I can do browse network. Connecting, what it's gonna do is because you need to give the uh, machine permission to access your workstation, you need to enter in your lo Windows login details. So. Right now what I'll do is go to login and my username is Troy Giles. Done. Now it's gonna ask for my password, so I'm just gonna scroll up a little bit and enter in my password. Okay, scroll back down, press OK. And now that it's connected, it will come up with my current shared folders on the network on my workstation so I'm gonna set it up for scans connecting and then that's it so now I can press OK and then enter exit go back to the home screen now when I go up to the scanner and as it's defaulted to email I'm gonna go into folder and there I am right there and it gives you the path okay um, Something else that I can show you while you're in the address book management. Here, if you're in Troy, um, so you've set up the scan to folder. If you also wanted to set them up with an email address, you would just click on the email tab, enter in the email address here, and that would also save. So for example, let's just give me anything. That's done. Also, if this is a user outside the, the network, well, scan to folder wouldn't work, but this is where you'd give them the fax destination as well, along here. So, I go OK, exit, exit, and now when I go into scanner, I have an email destination. Obviously, it's not valid. 
and then I'm still in the scanter folder. Hopefully this helps.